having their pitch deck reviewed, having their color schemes down, um, knowing exactly what part of the blockchain they want to focus on. We help with a lot of that strategy. Hi, I'm Ross Gates from Alpha Growth. Today we're at Block World, and I'm with Paul Munson from Digital Asset Advisors, a consultancy that's helping early stage startups and crypto companies get to the next level. Paul, what's your specialty inside the blockchain space? Yeah, thanks Ross for having me here. So, um, my company, Digital Asset Advisors, we focus on a number of things that help early stage companies get to the next level, specifically in the token process. Um, so we really focus on three key areas. Uh, that is management consulting, which is operational efficiency and process implementation, um, tokenomics and strategy, and marketing. Um, some of the key industries that we focus on, we really started making our name for us in real estate and traditional investments. Uh, so we work with a company called Slice.Market, uh, which will be the first real estate company in blockchain to launch multiple asset tokenizations by the end of the year. Gotcha. Tell me more about your background and what gives you the capability to do this better than the other consultancies that are trying to compete with you. Yeah. Absolutely. One of the things that the blockchain space um, has a number of individuals that come from a variety of different backgrounds, but doesn't have is people like myself that come from an investment banking and private equity background. So my particular background was in real estate investment banking, followed up by general private Which equity. makes Slice perfect. Exactly, which allowed me to parlay into Slice really uh, effectively. And then now we've transitioned into a number of different investment strategies. Gotcha. So. And then you laid out three things that you do. Mm -hmm. One of them is marketing. So as a consultancy, what type of marketing are you doing for these blockchain companies? Yeah, yeah so we always like to differentiate marketing for the blockchain process and marketing for the business process as two distinct avenues. Uh, we focus particularly on the blockchain aspect of that. Uh, for example, one of our clients has an audience of 30 million users. Jeez. Uh, that, yeah, it's really They don't even like need marketing, well, I mean, a little bit. But. Correct. They don't need any marketing that we can really add a significant amount of value towards. But uh, what they do need help with is the blockchain component of that. Because when you market towards a blockchain community, get user engagement, um, get, do investor relations, things of that nature, it's a totally different animal than a lot of these companies. So you're taking their existing 30 million users and finding the portion of them that are interested in blockchain? Or you're sending out messaging to other users to get them interested in blockchain? How does that work? Yeah, it can really be a number of things, um, but it helps when you have 30 million users. It always uh, does. To, uh, <laughs> yeah, to come back. So combing through a lot of that data is a very essential thing that uh, we have to do in this scenario. Um, by looking through the data and realizing which ones of their customers uh, could turn into a different type of user and then you can implement new marketing processes for uh, specifically with a blockchain component which could be solving cross-border payment issues, it could be solving um, a number of client engagement issues because as we know blockchain is a database and we just help them interact and market towards that database better. Right, and then you also said that you're marketing toward investors for those clients. Is that also out of that pool or are you specifically marketing to lists of accredited investors? Yeah, well, when it comes to marketing towards investors, there's a big, it's, you have to draw a very fine line between what you can and cannot do. So our company, we are not a broker dealer and we don't behave like a broker dealer. Gotcha. So we're not taking any success fees of any of that nature. But as companies want to prepare their messaging for when they are having those conversations with investors, um, in terms of having their pitch deck reviewed, having their color schemes down, um, knowing exactly what part of the blockchain they want to focus on, we help with a lot of that strategy. Um, so that's a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaching, but that really gets into intense marketing. Gotcha, so, yeah. that sounds intense. Yeah, yeah. Okay, back to those main three. Yep. Another one was operations. You're operationalizing these companies. Are you helping them hire talent or no. To what extent do you actually take over? Yeah, so we never take over from Let, our companies. Okay. Uh, we, we love to become an integral part of their team, as I kind of mentioned. Um, so we do a lot of, call it, contracted COO type of work, uh, where we will come in, we will establish a 
weekly conference call, which would be a surprise. A lot of companies don't realize they need a weekly conference call just to keep people on page. Yeah. Um, that's the most basic thing that we will do, is do that. But then we also help through the process identify where there's human capital that needs to be identified and implemented into the team. A lot of times that could be a new marketing person, it could be uh, a new COO in general to replace ourselves. Um, it could be that the CEO needs to have a co-CEO of some sort. Um, that's a much more difficult one, but it's happened in some instances. But it could also be as getting a personal assistance just to make the CEO's life easier. So you said a COO to replace yourself. Yeah. Is that advantageous for you? Yeah, I mean, we will stay involved, but um, as companies grow, grow from what's called a seed round, to which is where we start working with companies after they've completed their successful 200 to million dollar seed round, uh, and they've ramped up into the next ass phase of their lives, uh, we they need to be able to get all of those operations in-house and need to be able to grow organically. And then they need to grow and you need to move on to the next seed company because that's where your specialty yep. is. Yep. We, we generally, with a number of clients we've had in the past, we will stay involved with them as a, call it an advisor or call it as a limited, you know, consultancy. Uh, and and that stays we're just giving advice to them, um, but they're able to just be a high functioning machine that is just growing and growing and growing. And then we can take the knowledge that we gained from that experience and pass it on to uh, the next clients, which we're doing right now. That's the so, best, so like, yeah. yeah, using it and spreading it throughout the entire industry and raising everybody up. So the last thing your company focuses on is tokenomics and strategy. So for those of us out there that don't know what tokenomics is, I haven't seen it in Merriam-Webster's dictionary yet. Maybe it's there. What exactly is that? And What's the process? Yeah, hopefully it'll be adopted by 2019 in Merriam-Webster. You just keep emailing uh, them. <laughs> I will, I will. Yeah, uh, so tokenomics is really the economics behind your token, to boil it down as simple as possible. So with blockchain and adoption, we have seen tokens mm -hmm. or cryptocurrencies uh, become the really driving force behind this whole entire movement. Um, what we have seen, though, is that a lot of these tokens have had short-sighted economic reasons to exist. Um, and we're, we started to see the end of a lot of those tokens. Right, because so, they're just there to hold value. They don't really have any real-world implementation. Or functionality. Or functionality. And yeah, after the speculation's done, everyone's like, what's the point? Yep. Exactly. So you're helping companies find that real-world functionality that will exist a year, five years from now, yep. and keep them strong. Yeah, exactly. That's that's really what we spend a lot of time focusing on with our clients, is does this implementation of either blockchain um, or cryptocurrency, which is a form of blockchain, uh, allow the company to exist and run super efficiently in the future? Um, and, and, yeah. and what if it doesn't? Will you completely pivot a company? Or what do you do? Yeah, so that's a we, question that we tell them to close up shop. <laughs> that's a question that thousands of companies are uh, currently doing or having that discussion right now. Um, I think what we will see, though, is, and this is why we focus on only a few clients at a time, is the clients that actually have a real business uh, will be able to pivot. They'll be able to deal with the challenges of their to original tokenomics design and those will be the ones that will exist five, 10 years down the line. Gotcha, so, yeah. nice. So then they want to scale, they want to exist, you want to do the same thing. What are your plans? What's going to take you to the next level? Yeah, it's a good question. So um, as I mentioned before, we are very specific and we work with and a few early stage companies um, and we don't try to overwhelm ourselves so we can give each one the attention they deserve. Yep. But as we grow and we take on more clients, we are actively looking for high functioning management consultants that can come in um, and add a significant amount of value. Um, you know, as our business grows and we get more and more exposure to this and the industry matures, uh, because we're seeing a lot of really high quality companies, uh, it provides a lot of opportunity. I won't say exactly what, but uh, you know, there's always 
so the potential to raise a fund or there's always the potential to gotcha. you know, take over companies or help launch other companies. And so you're getting your net out there to the companies that you could potentially raise a fund around, maybe, yeah. don't say that. Yeah. And then you're also hiring management consultants to grow your team yeah. and allow you to offer the same level of detail and exactly. work to a much larger group of companies. Correct. You're basically just you're building up your consultancy and yeah. expanding your network. Yeah, we're trying to take a, a slightly different approach that we, with the clients we work with, we want to be a long, around for a very long time. Um, so we're trying to grow organically, we're trying to grow smartly, um, we're not violating laws. That's, we, that's always good. We love security <laughs> tokens, we're big, big proponents of security tokens. Um, and just growing organically and smartly so we can retain you know, the vision of the company we want. Nice. Well, it sounds like you've got a plan, you're executing. I can't wait to see where it goes. Yeah, I'm executing. This has been great. Hopefully. Thank you. <laughs>